Breaking overnight after hours of debate, Arizona Senate leaders passed an historic budget for our state. Team 12's Mitch Carr is live at our state capitol this morning. So Mitch, what needs to happen now? Good morning, and Ryan and Rachel. Uh, as you mentioned, it's passed the Senate for now. Now it needs to go to the State House of Representatives, and then it needs to go to Governor Ducey's desk for him to sign. But this is all part of a late night push by Senate Republicans. The governor tweeted around 2.30 this morning, thanking the Senate for passing what he called a historic budget. He says, quote, this balanced and fiscally responsible plan is a win for all Arizonans. It delivers unprecedented tax relief to working families and small businesses. It pays down state debt and it continues to invest in our schools and infrastructure so we can keep Arizona competitive, end quote. The main part of the nearly $13 billion budget is the biggest tax cut in state history. The proposed flat tax caps the income tax rate at 4.5% for the state's highest earners. State Democrats argue this change mainly helps the wealthy. To put it into perspective, a majority of Arizona's taxpayers, those making $50,000 a year or less, would see their taxes cut by as little as $2 and as much as $39. For the top 5% of earners, people bringing in $200,000 to $5 million a year, they would get tax cuts averaging $3,000 to more than $7,000. While the state Senate passed the budget overnight, the House has yet to do so. Yesterday, House Democrats no-showed at the Capitol, and not all Republicans were in attendance. That prevented Republicans from getting the 31 House members needed to hold debate on the budget. Democrats argue they've been shut out of the negotiation process. Keep in mind, Republicans do hold a majority in the state house, so if all 31 Republicans show up, they can pass the measure. Governor Ducey also tweeted overnight, quote, I look forward to signing this budget once the Arizona House of Representatives votes and it reaches my desk, end quote. And one final note, the state lawmakers have to approve the spending plan by June 30th, and that is one week from today. Reporting live at the state capitol, Mitch Carr, today in AZ.